Hello, my name is Jia Wan. Today I'm going to talk about iSync 3D. There will be two parts. This is the first part. The slide is in the video description. iSync 3D has uh, a few menus. The first menu is the file menu. It shows different data source. If you click the retrieve by ID, there are data from NCBI, you can de define MNDB ID, data from RCSB, you can use the MNTF ID or PDB ID. There are also data from OPM, you can use the OPM ID. You can also load the local files, PDB files, MNCF files, SDF files, and um, you can load ICN 3D, PNG image, or load a state file as well. Uh, in the analysis menu, it has many options to show uh, sequence. You click sequence and the annotations show the 1D sequence. If you click 2D diagram, it shows 2D diagram. And you can also show the defined sets. By default, all items are shown. And you can select a subset of the structure, go to a select menu and um, select on 3D. If you click the Alt button and click, you can select a residue by default, or you can change to select a chain. And when you select something on 3D, um, it will show up on the set as well and show up in the 2D diagram, it will show up in 1D. Or if you select in 3D, uh, in 1D sequence, the selection will show up in 2D and 3D as well. After the selection, uh, the toggle shows selection and the color becomes orange and the style and the color menu also become orange. That means all your actions after your selection will apply only on the selection. So if you click the view menu, the first one is the view only selection and it will display only your selection in 3D and highlight the in 1D and they also only show your selection in 2D. And your selection will show up in the defined sets as well. If you click the toggle, it will sh show the full structure. In the style menu, you need to select whether it's a protein or the citrine of the protein or nucleotides or chemicals, ions, waters, then select the style. Like by default, it's a ribbon. You can change to a schematic by showing the residue name and um, show sticks and show the C other trace. And you can also show the molecule surface or show the electron density map or EM map. And remember, since this is the card in orange, that means you have a selection and your, all your, your actions will only apply to your selection. In the color menu, um, there are different options. You can color by secondary structure, color by charge, by hydrophobicity, or you can apply a one, a unique color to everything. And the color we apply only to your selection. If you have no selection, it will be all the items. And <clears throat> once you have a custom display, you can add a title, add a notes for your custom view and um, 
your nodes and the nodes, the node will also show up as the window title. So if you have multiple tabs open, you can easily tell from the window title which one is which. So if you have a custom view you want to uh, save, you can go to save file I in 3D PNG image. And um, this will save two files. One is a PNG image. The other one is the HTML file, which um, has a link to the, it's shown here, which has a link to the image. So you can just click it and then the, this, your custom view will be displayed. And if you have multiple, uh, this HTML file, you can concatenate in a, a text editor, then you can generate your own uh, gallery. And this PNG image can be loaded into in 3 d If you go to open file, open in 3 d image. And furthermore, you can click file share link and all your data, your custom display will be saved in the short URL. This is a lifelong short URL and you can Share, share it with your uh, colleagues. And there's also another option called replay each steps. So if you click that, then it will show step by step uh, from the start of your view and to the end or your to your final view. Okay, that's for the first part.